talked to plenty of folks with plenty of concern around the city today over this issue. And New Haven Public Schools, their leadership has confirmed that dozens and dozens of teachers that are supposed to be in classrooms are not. They've got the vacancies. So now it's time to meet with the teachers union, which was done this week. After totaling up recent hires, retirements, and resignations, New Haven Public Schools says they are currently 70 to 80 teachers short. I know they just started, but, yeah. you know, every day is a substitute teacher. It's not the original teachers that they had, so it, it hurts. I've been a teacher since 2007, and we haven't had vacancies like this before. The leader of the New Haven Teachers Union, who has worked on a national teacher shortage task force, says many teachers are leaving for higher paying jobs in the suburbs. The job of teacher has become much more complicated, much more intense, much more stressful than ever before. It's pretty sad. They need to get paid more money. Maybe they'll have sufficient teachers and classes filled with teachers. But New Haven's Teachers Union and the school system for now have come to an agreement, signing a memorandum of understanding this week. By our contract, our departmentalized teachers teach five classes a day. So this MOU says, okay, our teachers who teach five a day can take on that sixth, but as a result, they will get paid 20% of their salary for taking on that sixth. The school leadership says they recognize the unique challenges that face their teachers. Whether it be uh, food insecurity, assist in making sure they have their right social, emotional supports, mental health supports. To me, like one of the things that would really help is support from the state um, and also um, loan relief for teachers, for people who go to school to study to be teachers. And the teachers union says that English Second, English as a second language, I should say, science and other teachers are ones that they need absolutely most in this school system. In terms of the school leadership, they said they're working on all sorts of recruiting ideas to bring teachers in the fold and then work on retention. We're live in New Haven, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.